The Rotax 916 has been rumored for quite some time and is now officially available to purchase and is what everyone will be talking about for the next few months. So what's the hoo-ha about? Other than the white cylinder covers and the 915 replaced by a 916, it shouldn't look too different to anyone familiar with the 915 because, well, it's almost exactly the same engine. But we'll cover that in a moment. Most importantly, power output is a nice 160 horsepower, which is 19 horsepower more than the 141 horsepower of the 915. It might not seem very significant, but this puts the 916 in a category to power even heavier aircraft like the Carbon Cup. And that extra power comes at a weight penalty of only a few pounds, which is a great achievement by Rotax. Unfortunately, the additional 19 horsepower makes the price tag for the 916 just less than $50,000. Other than that, it doesn't seem too different in design to the 915. The engine displacement is identical to the 915 at 1,352 cubic centimeters. So the power increase over the 915 comes from other gains, possibly the turbo and ECU departments. The engine maxes out at 5,800 RPM and thus makes use of a 2.54 reduction gearbox. It can run on F-gas as well as 95 octane car fuel or 85 octane MON in the US. Who is the 916 for? 160 horsepower puts it in a nice spot to compete with the 180 horsepower power plant that frequently powers the Super Cup and other clones like the Carbon Cup. With the Rotax being turbocharged, it maintains full power up to 15,000 feet and can be operated up to 23,000 feet. At high altitudes, the 916 will thus deliver more horsepower than similar powered non turbocharged engines. Now hopefully we should be seeing some of these in the air very soon. If you're interested in more airplane engine talk, watch one of these videos next.